What's up guys, Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So I know that during my Kingdom Line review, you guys mentioned that I missed the pterosaur figures. And in fact, I did. I don't know how, but during all the time I tried to order it, it all came out out of stock. So when I finally saw this legacy figures coming, which is they said that this is, this is the more accurate color versions. I think I'm gonna pick this guy up. So here we go. So let's have a look at the Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Pterosaur from Beast War. So let's begin. So here we have Pterosaur in his reward mode. And straight up, you can see that this is a retool, a heavily retool of the Kingdom Eraser. And I think that for this review, I'm gonna put them side by side so you can actually compare them together to see what are the differences so here they are and of course as you can see these hive on these figures are quite similar although the wings of pterosaur does make him look a little bit bulkier than air razor but they are essentially the same except for the torso section because of the transformation gimmick because air razor here you have the eagle the hawk head as a chest but for pterosaur it's completely different and also the arms is essentially the same and because like as you see for the spike part of the arm it's just the same air razor arm but now you can pull the spike out so just like they insert the spike to make him look so sorry air razor to make him look different the shoulders are different the thighs are different but then the leg is the same the feet is different and in my opinion i would prefer this kind of feet because they look more evenly distributed than the feet from the air razor which looks weird to me in the robot mode so now let's put air, air razor aside and have a closer look at this guy first up we got the head which is a really nice head sculpt you got some smiling happening here which is full of characteristic and i absolutely enjoy that you got some nice matte purple paint onto the head some red and the white and i must say that for this guy's face they have nailed it 100 percent I really like this face. To me, it's going to be one of the best Deluxe class head sculpt I have ever seen. That is really nice. Moving down to the torso, and yes, you can see here they try to recreate that scaling effect of a flying lizard. So that is really nice. You got some scaling effects over here and some middle, some green highlight. This is like neon green or something. Which looks really nice to me. I enjoy the looks of it. To me, that is like a really nice highlight, you know, contrasting all the hot red colors and the purples. Adding some green there is like some really, really good pop up for the figures. And for the arms, like I have mentioned, this is air razor arms, so there's nothing new, only you have the spike, it's new. And the shoulders, the shoulder section is like they have changed it to make it look more bulky. So I enjoy that. I think that the bulkiness fits with this figure as a like a male transformer instead of air razor which in the case is a female one so it's kind of slim and of course for the same as air razor you still got a logos onto his right arms this is a Predacon logo and this is painted in a bright silver way in a bright silver paint which is really nice but although it's kind of hard to see because of the all the hot colors popping on it it's kind of hard to see so you can only see it if you like really pay attention and like look closer for the legs this is the same thing happened with the arms the thigh section are modified so these are a bulkier thighs than the original thighs of Eraser. So yeah, it does make the figure look stronger and like heftier. And I have talked about the feet, so yeah, that will be it. Now turn to the backpack and this is essentially the same kind of wing mechanism as Eraser, But in this case, we got the head of the dinosaur down here as a backpack cable. Me personally, I wouldn't have any problem with it as I think th this still look nice, not a problem at all. The only thing that Pterosaur come with would be a single blaster in red. Me personally, I don't think I don't like this weapon. I think that is like bullshit and that is not like really full of any characteristic for the guys at all. I think I would prefer him flying. I think that would be a lot better. And of course, you can attach it by plucking onto his hand and now he's having a gun. And then if you don't want to, you can have, he does have some weapon storage on the thighs. Just clip it there like that. But then it does get in the way of articulation. So you can, I would actually prefer to remove it and put it up here. I think that is a, a lot better 
weapon at weapon storage and i think now you know looking at this i'm thinking that it would be better if he had if he has like two of those guns and now to the articulation so we begin with the articulation we have the head here we can look up a little bit and down do a not a really full 360 because because of his chin okay arm moves out this is a rotation this kind of block because of the wing so if you move the wing you would get be able to get some or some more range of articulation this is the bicep swivel elbow bend and you got some joint here for the hands that is i think that is more for more like transformation and the waist is kind of limited because of this tail section so if you want to bring that out uh, and this wings just keep falling apart you would get, get a better range of torso enjoy the waist swivel to the front and kick the back is good the split is nice you got a thigh swivel bend at the knee and the feet is on a ball joint so yeah that is like a free range you can do a little bit poses and a pivot i mean articulation wise this guy would be nearly the same as air razor except for some part he got blocked because like his armor got thicker or some of some sort but anyway i think that he still looks great and if you just like move his part a little bit you get a really nice and decent range of articulation so now let's get to some size comparison for size comparison, here we have Terrasaur next to Wasp Spinator and Megatron. And as you can see, he is a slightly taller than Wasp Spinator, but like really short compared to Megatron. He only stands up to Megatron's hips. And I think that this scale works perfectly. I enjoy the scaling. I think this figure looks nice in, this, in terms of scaling. I think that in recent years, Hasbro has done a really great job of scaling their figures. So now without further ado, let's get to transformation. Finished transforming Pterosaur, I think that he got a pretty nice and decent look for a flying lizard. I think that he looks great. The head sculpt of the dinosaur looks full of characteristic and I enjoyed it. And one downside of this is that it would be hard for him to pose in this mode because of like he's holding way too much things and the overall feet is not that good at supporting this weight as like air razor but then he, he is a flying beast so i would prefer to put him on an action base of some sort i think that would serve him better so i got this action base right here and i'm just gonna plug him in and try to repose him get him into some flying poses and personally i think that this would serve him better and as for the articulation of the wings, since this is like the only good thing about this mode is that you can actually split, this is the maximum range of it. So this is all the same joint as the wings of Air Razor. So I mean, not that impressive. I would I would love if he like got a larger wingspan. I think it looks way better since like this is a re really big beast and not as the same as air razor but then again he's a real tool so i don't think that i can ask for too much this is what we got and i would love i would love this i would still like him i would still enjoy him and of course the head can move up and down like that and do a full rotation and he can open his mouth like that and this is you see they paint the teeth in here which looks really nice and for weapon storage unfortunately there's no decent way to store in this mode unless you're just gonna try to clip it onto his thigh like this and they look like they they don't look that great but then this is what we got so for some final comparison here we have him next to air razor and uh, warp spinator in their beast mode 
And as you can see, this here he's on the same similar size of air razor. Although that one thing does occur to me that I would actually prefer him staying in robot mode because of in the in this dinosaur mode. Oh, you can see it's red. We lost all that purple highlight of him, and I don't think that looks really great. I would prefer him in robot mode, which have some purple. That doesn't look too hot to me because, like right now, to be honest, the, this color red is like too much for me. So should you get this guy? I mean, if you miss the Kingdom versions and you think that having this one more accurate in colors would serve you, then you definitely should get this one. But you, if you have already got the Kingdom versions, then you don't necessarily need to buy this one. It's not that much of a difference. And basically, like the situation of have you got the Kingdom version yet? Because like it, that is because that is my case. Because I got I haven't got the Kingdom version, so I got this one. If I already got the Kingdom versions, I would never buy this figure because that is would be unnecessary. So that would be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to give a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like it or don't like this figure, hit me in the comment section below. Turn turn out.